Is this Fiona's account? Oh, yes, but... Right! My guess was right! This picture is your profile, right? You're so plain and have no presence. Such a common type of person. I was wondering what type of woman gets cheated on, but I guess I was right. Um, we've never met before, have we? I don't deserve to have my appearance judged by you. Who are you? Besides, what do you mean by cheating? I'm Lucy. I'm marrying your fiancé. I looked for your contact information in his phone's history. Wait a minute. I don't understand the word marrying your fiancé. Are you playing dumb? It's about Wade. Wade? Yes, I'm going to marry Wade. Can I confirm? What is Wade's last name? Rogers. It's the same name as my fiancé. I've told you many times. I went out of my way to preface this with your fiancé, so who else could it be? Wade Rogers is going to marry me. Hey, what are you talking about? I've been dating Wade for years. We've already set the date for our wedding. We've given out the invitations, preparations are mostly done, and all we have to do is wait for the day. No one would come this far and suddenly marry someone else? What are you trying to do joking like that? What am I trying to do? Wade says he wants to marry me. Do I need anything else besides that fact? Come on, the wedding is in two months. Don't disturb us. Oh my, you're getting so worked up. You've been dating him for years and you didn't even know that he was cheating on you? How could you be so blind? There is no way he would cheat on me. I've always believed in him. Rather than believing him, I guess you just didn't understand his expression and feelings properly. I had to listen to him goof on you every time we went out on a date. What? We did that? We're half cohabitating right now, so I can melt away his stress anytime. He's really relaxed, except for when he's in contact with you. I can't believe you're almost living together. Is that why we haven't been in touch or dated much lately? You really are blind. I wonder if Wade really wanted to marry you. What? Wade? You were on the verge of getting married to a high-income elite man, but you were intercepted at the last minute. Your marriageable age is about to end, and you can't help but feel miserable that you don't even realize your fiancé has been taken. So I have a request for you. Wade proposed to me. He doesn't have feelings for you anymore, and he says he loves me and wants to make me happy. Wade and I are serious about this relationship, so will you please step back? But I've only heard from you for now. I have to hear it from Wade himself. Whether you agree or not, he no longer has feelings for you. I get it. Well, I'll try to get in touch with him directly and talk to him. So why don't you give me some time? Yes, I don't mind. Wade says he doesn't want to be involved with you anymore, so I don't know if you can talk about it. But if that makes you feel better, go ahead. Hey! When are you going to break up with him? I want to get married to Wade as soon as possible. I've been calling Wade, but he hasn't answered or responded to my emails and he doesn't call me back. I want to know how he really feels. Is that your true intention? Maybe you just don't want to let him go because he's a good catch and you're trying to prolong the breakup until the wedding. There's no point in doing that if he doesn't show up to the wedding. I'm not that low-minded. I just wanted to talk it over and make sure it's all settled since I once vowed to share my life with him. Oh, really? Wade seems to be tired of your phone calls. Hey... You said you are almost living together. Is Wade there with you now? Yes. After I talked to you the other day, we started living together in earnest. 
I'm so happy we could be together all the time. We can nurture love every day. Are you still going to try to tie him down? I don't mean to tie him down. I just can't accept that it ends without hearing anything from him. I don't want to get angry with him. I just want to talk to him once. Why don't you ask why he avoids talking to me so much? Wade said, I don't want to talk to Fiona anymore. I want her to stop calling. That's what he says. Huh. Right. I wanted to at least ask him what he didn't like about me. If we can't even talk about it, then there's nothing more I can do. I'm not convinced, but I'm breaking up with Wade. Yes! You're finally free, Wade! Anyone would be fed up if you're so persistent. Yes. I'm sorry I didn't get to talk to him, but I'm ending our relationship. From now on, he's all yours. Well, maybe I'll buy an engagement ring. Missed call. What is it? I don't want to talk to you anymore. Hey, I know it's you. Why did you have to do that? How come Wade's parents know that you guys broke off your engagement because we had an affair? They were so mad at us. You've already broken up with Wade, so you're a stranger. Stay out of our lives. They asked me, it was close to the wedding, so why did you two suddenly break up? So I just answered honestly. As I said before, you guys cheated on me, so don't take it out on me. You could have just said that you were the one who broke the engagement. Don't make it difficult for me. I didn't break the engagement, and I had no reason to. You're the one who tried to force the trouble on me just now. Shut up! You have nothing to lose, so you can carry that much. Why bother contacting your ex-fiancé's parents? His parents were so kind to me that I just wanted to say goodbye. Besides, since they were going to attend the wedding, it's natural to greet them with the loss of the ceremony. You say like that, but you are using Wade's parents to tear us apart, aren't you? I've already told you I don't want to talk to you. I'm not interested in you anymore, and I don't want to get involved. So much that it never occurred to me to even harass you. Don't you think it's a terrible trick to steal someone else's fiancé? Wade and I really liked each other. There's nothing wrong with that. I am stunned. You just didn't want to let go of a good catch because Wade is kind, handsome, and well-earned, right? No. Not only on the outside, but I loved him seriously. You say that, but you met Wade on such good terms that you cheated on him to get him even if it meant tearing things up with me, didn't you? Oh, what are you talking about? Don't be kidding. Yes, yes, I understand. Like I said, I'm not interested in you or Wade anymore. Don't contact me anymore. Be happy. Missed call. Missed call. Hey! What kind of nerve do you have to ignore me? What? I was at work. How many times do I have to tell you there's nothing to talk about anymore? Yes, I don't even want to think about you if I could. So why is the wedding canceled? What? What are you talking about? I'm asking why you canceled the ceremony. If you hadn't canceled, I could have had a gorgeous wedding for free. Um, what kind of thought process is that? Wade and I broke up, so it's normal to cancel, isn't it? But just because the bride has changed doesn't change the fact that Wade is getting married. Oh, maybe you couldn't allow us to be the ones happy. That's why you reported it to Wade's parents and canceled our ceremony. You're a really bad person. He cheated on you because you have such a personality. Huh, feel free to say that I have a bad personality or not. But for now, I understand how stupid you are and how little common sense you have. Huh? Oh my god. You should think a little more about your position. You seem to want to justify what you did, but to others, it's just cheating. And it ruined people's lives. Oh, so what? If it makes Wade and I happy, that's fine. Yes, 
So there's nothing wrong with asking two happy people for alimony, right? I'm going to charge you alimony for cheating, and I'll charge Wade alimony and cancellation fees. What? <laughs> I've already assumed that. That's not going to get in our way. Because Wade is well paid. We can afford to pay alimony. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. I'll contact you through my lawyer later on. Yes, go ahead. I got my bill. Oh, I'm glad it arrived safely. I wonder if you're satisfied with the amount? I haven't seen the amount. I haven't opened the seal. Because Wade will pay it quickly and it is over. Should I give this to him? Yes. I think it says the payment is due at the end of the next month. Don't forget to pay. Well, as a housewife, I'll do that properly. Oh, did you quit your job? Of course! Wade works hard to earn money, so it's my job to keep the house clean and make delicious food to welcome him home. Yes, but you should also look for a job. What are you talking about? I don't need to do that. We can afford to live on Wade's income alone, and we have savings, so we don't have any problems. Oh, don't you know Wade's current situation when you're about to get married? He's going to be fired soon. Huh? What are you talking about? He can't get fired. He's a promising elite employee with a confirmed promotion. Well, yes, he was a manager at a big company not long ago, and he was earning a lot of money, but he was embezzling the company's money. They found out about it, and now he's demoted. He'll lose his job in a few days. That's a lie! Embezzlement? I didn't know that! He has too much pride, so maybe the reason his income seemed so high was because he embezzled so much. Because of his personality, I don't think he would bother to tell you honestly that he was embezzling company's money. I think the company is probably considering a court case or claim for compensation by now. I don't care if it's alimony to you, but even paying the company? With that in mind, why don't you open the bill envelope? Well, that's about it. What is this amount? I'm already laughing. You can't buy love and happiness with money at all, can you? I can't believe you think money equals happiness. What a sad person. <laughs> really? I consulted with a lawyer and asked him to calculate the average price for infidelity engagement. Can't you pay? You were laughing so much. Oh, well... I can't afford to pay such a ridiculous amount for a wedding cancellation. This is absolute padding. It's an illegal charge. No, it's the exact amount as the cancellation fee. I told you, Wade is too full of pride. He wanted the ceremony to be gorgeous, and he was eager to add options to this and that. And the cancellation was just before the ceremony, so it's a fair price. I can send you a copy of the receipt since I'm paying temporarily. Really? If we pay this amount as it is, we may end up with a negative bank account. And if he loses his income and title as an executive of a big company... Yes, I'm sure you'll lose everything and it's going to be tough in the future. You... You make light of it because it's someone else's business. It's completely different from what I heard. If you knew, why didn't you tell me sooner? You were so arrogant to me and ruined my life, you know? I'm not going to extend a helping hand to an enemy. I'm a bad person, right? Well, you're not smart, so I'll tell you what. This kind of thing is called what goes around comes around. Don't make fun of me! See you soon. Hey! Hey, wait! Lucy said she can afford alimony, so I sent her a bill to have all the alimony and cancellation fees to be paid in full. I heard that they were broke at that point, but the company sued them for embezzlement and they were asked for damages. Apparently, the money he was embezzling was to spend on dates with Lucy and to show that he had larger savings than he really had, which would mean she was half complicit in the embezzlement. Lucy had quit her job, so she had no source of income, so the two of them ended up in debt. It was unintentional, but by telling Wade's parents about the cause of the breakup, 
They are working hard every day to pay back the money under his parents' supervision. They seem to really want to get married at the risk of cheating, but for some reason, they are not officially married yet. I guess the marriage talk will be postponed until they can pay off the debt. So much that who knows when they will pay it all back. <laughs> 